Think of one thing everyone here will do today, regardless of their age, race, gender, or income. My answer is that everybody will use the toilet, because my project uses wastewater or raw sewage to track infectious disease. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many regions of Canada began using wastewater testing to monitor for COVID-19. Since clinical testing has slowed down, wastewater testing has become one of our most reliable tools to monitor COVID-19 disease trends. And some rural communities even prevented outbreaks using this information. So how can you track infectious disease using sewage? Well, for certain infections, viral or bacterial particles are shed in urine or stool, and those particles end up in community sewage. We can isolate those particles using tiny filters and extract their genetic material to determine if a particular pathogen was present, and if so, how much was present. Because sewage is communal, the data collected is unbiased, with coverage from every resident. How? Well, because everybody poops. After the success of using wastewater testing for COVID-19, some communities were interested in using wastewater testing for other pathogens too, including sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. My job is to develop wastewater tests for common STIs in Canada. Bacterial STIs like gonorrhea have increased by 400 to 500% over the past decade. This is likely an underestimate, since just like with COVID-19, there are huge gaps in our clinical data. These gaps arise because STIs are asymptomatic in 50 to 70% of people for years or even decades at a time, so many people don't know they're infected. Additionally, geographic and social barriers create inequitable access to healthcare for many Canadians, but especially for those living in northern Canada, where the rates of STIs are 10 to 20 times the national average. Improved surveillance of STIs is also very important because for women, the first symptom can be severe, including pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility, miscarriage, or even cervical cancer. Because people who are asymptomatic or unable to access testing still shed infectious particles in their urine or stool, wastewater testing could help public health identify regions with high rates of STIs. This would allow public health to target healthcare and education resources to the communities that need it. Overall, targeted allocation of resources to affected communities represents an equitable allocation of healthcare resources for all. Just think, the road to more equitable access to healthcare could start with something as simple as a trip to the bathroom. Thank you.